Hello and welcome to a not so awesome review. And today we're looking at the SH Figure Arts Kingdom Hearts King Mickey action figure by Bandai. A uh, quick look at the box. Uh, it it's a nice, clean looking box. It's the Japanese import, so there is no blue fin sticker. I'll get into why you might want to wait for the American release if you're over here overseas. But uh, yeah. Anyways, King Mickey Kingdom Hearts. It, it looks awesome. You can see it. It looks like Mickey, and that's actually the best thing about it it's just it looks really good um straight out the bat it looks amazing and i'm really happy i got him he does come with instructions by the way which you might want to glance over but i will go over more or less everything that's in there but just in case you guys want to see how to put things on there you go um does come with three pairs of faces you can see he has this happy really happy mickey mouse like smiling mouth open face uh this one which is probably the like <laughs> the most classic looking face here he's just smiling looking off to the right i really like this face i don't know why it just looks really good and this kind of like angry i'm ready to fight kind of face looking going on there um a hood piece with his ears down in case you want to have you know his head on right there stuff going on we have the Keyblade, which has the best looking paint job ever. I'm just putting that out there. The paint job on this Keyblade is amazing. It looked like if it was going to be like die cast or something. It isn't, unfortunately. That would have been really cool, but it still looks really good. The chain here is a kind of metal. It still feels a little bit cheap, and the little emblem here is plastic. But I just the sparkliness of it is amazing. I really, really like the paint job on that comes with a pair of fists that he has attached in the box a pair of keyblade wielding hands which i think is good you know we have one for each hand so you can hold it in either hand and he has these kind of washing outwards kind of hands that i think look really good also uh just in case nobody or you guys don't notice right away uh this piece is detachable from this piece so you know you can have uh that head kind of like that if you want it like that or you can have that head if you don't want the uh, hood actually on and you just want it like this so you know it it gives you options to have every head with or without the hood which i think was definitely a good part on uh bandai right there thinking ahead saying instead of limiting us to having one head with the hood down we can have every head with the hood down or we can have every head with the hood up and how you do that is you just pull you know nothing hard there uh you know we get this piece i want to say do we just slip it on i'm gonna actually look at the instructions just to be safe right here and it looks like yeah you can just pop his head off by pulling forward here this is why you read instructions you don't want to mess things up anyways you can just pull that off slip that on and let's say we want his smiling looking off to the side face right there. So we can put that on. We can take this off. And just put this on from back here. And there we have Mickey looking freaking adorable. I, um, like, oh my god, he, he really does look amazing right here. I'm freaking out a little bit of how good he looks. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's awesome that we're given options like that. Uh, you know, the ears down here where the, his ears would be going through the hood and everything, the detail, just everything about it, I love. I actually really, the more I'm messing with this, the more I'm liking it. If you want, you guys can just close this off and put it off to the side so you don't lose both pieces. Like I said, you can do that with either head. Um, the hood, I want to say, does limit articulation just a little bit. So I want to mention that before we get into it, like the uh, little dangly pieces from here kind of do get in the way from turning left and right. So he does have slightly hindered articulation when he has this down. Let's see how he is without it though. And it, it does still feel more or less the same when looking up and down. He doesn't have too much movement, which I wouldn't expect considering how uh, his head is kind of built. A little bit of side to side, but yeah, he can rotate his head all the way around with the hood on. He can rotate about that much and that much. So just a heads up on that. You know, he does have limited articulation when he has his hood on. 
His arm can move that high. Again, the hood does limit it a little bit. And it does kind of just... It, it gets annoying with the hood on. I'm going to just put that out there. He can move his arms that high, which I think is really good for this figure. He does have a single joint elbow, but it's a really nice single jointed elbow, you can see. And he does have a typical hinge on his uh, hand right here, just like every elder figure art. So nothing new there. He does have a really nice like ab crunch going on that he can like move back a really good amount so he can look up so if you had sora you know he can look up really good he can crunch forward a pretty good amount and as you saw you know you can bend his legs forward to make him look down just a little bit more if you needed to he does have a really nice you know side to side in his abdomen like really most of the articulation i think you're going to be using is right there just because it's I think they did a really good job there with that ball peg or whatever it's going on in there because you know with a figure this size and with the rubber piece down here like it's uh, i'm sure they were like limited in options on what they could do for articulation and you know making this part really really stand out really move a good amount was definitely a good idea his legs actually can move i wasn't so sure like i knew his legs would be able to move somewhat but I didn't think they were going to be able to move as much as they could. It's not saying much because they still can't move too much. And that's mostly because of the rubber here. But uh, he can he can move his legs out just a little bit. Not too much. He can basically move them forward and back a little bit. Again, not too much. And he can rotate his leg. And he does have what looks like a hinge here. And I've tried moving it. But... I mean, it's really, it, it doesn't really want to move all too much. So, I, I don't know, like, it, it moves down a little bit, but that's about it. I don't know, like, his leg articulation, I feel, isn't the greatest. But like I said, it, it is actually moving more than I thought it would. So there is that, but, yeah, with a figure, with a skirt type thing, you know, you always gotta expect that, you know, his legs won't be able to move all too much. But this is awesome. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty cool on its own, even without that. His tail, which is a separate piece in the box, uh, can move a pretty good amount. You just peg it into this little rubbery thing here. And uh, yeah, let me just show you guys kind of the limited... I'm pulling this off wrong. Let me show you guys the limited articulation with the, uh, the hood piece on, just so you guys can get like a full view knowing what's going on here so let's put this more wanting to fight kind of face on here rotate that so it's not upside down put that on slip this on the side on the other side so yeah i really do like how simple and like not difficult it is to like kind of change the head and everything so you can see here, now he kind of does have like a limited when it comes to turning right and left. Up and down, I feel like backwards maybe has a little bit less of a uh, up look with it. Down, I guess a little bit less, but he already didn't have it to begin with. It's just really the rotating left and right. And then his arm can still move up pretty good, so there's really nothing going on there. But it's mostly just the looking left and right, though you can just rotate his body and it's more or less just as good. So... There is that. Anyways, uh, getting onto the keyblade. Just grab it here. Just pop it onto his. I guess that's his left hand. I'm just gonna pop it on here. There we go. Take this off. plug this in and i still i'm not a big fan of the peg being on the hands i mean that's how all figure arts are but still not a big fan of that just because i i do feel like eventually one of these is going to break on me um not necessarily this figure but i just feel like eventually a ball peg is going to break on me and that's just going to be annoying um when you know the peg is on the hand at least when it's the peg that breaks you know you can use a different hand but that's uh that's besides the point. Just take this hand off. Pop this hand on. 
and voila we got king mickey with his keyblade and he still looks amazing i again i don't really got much else to say about him other than he looks really really good uh, i'm gonna move some of this stuff to the side here and you guys can just take a quick look and see at how good he actually really does look with his keyblade you know the hood and everything the rubber piece on him uh, I don't know if we can take that off. I'm not going to try and pop off his uh, waist joint anytime soon. I assume that somebody is going to do it at some point. And probably is doable. But yeah, really nothing bad to say about the figure. I definitely recommend it. He goes for about 50 ish dollars on eBay right now if you want to have him imported. Same if you want to import him from somewhere like Hobby Link Japan, which is what I did. Uh, he will be on Amazon. And I believe Big Bad Toy Store is supposed to have him soon. But, you know, if you want to wait for the U.S. release, I know Amazon will be having it in around June. And the reason you might want to wait just for the uh, the U.S. release, whether it's Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon or any other retailer here, is just for that Bluefin sticker. Because Bluefin does offer kind of like parts replacements if you break anything. I've done it before with a Figma. And it's definitely something kind of nice to have to fall back on just in case you broke it. Uh, really quick, here he is compared to a Play Arts uh, Mickey from Kingdom Hearts 2. And you can see the size difference is just crazy. I believe his nose broke off on me at some point and I was able to glue it on perfectly fine. But yeah, you can see just the size difference on these two is like amazing though. He's not a Play Arts Kai, he is just a Play Arts. Just want to put that out there. He does have interchangeable hands and everything. You can see the difference in the Keyblade quality though. Both plastic, one really shiny, one just straight up gold and not shiny. And I'm not saying that the straight up gold one looks bad in any way, but this one definitely blows it out of the water. It's to scale with the Sora figure arts, which I would have with me right here showing you guys. But somehow, even though I ordered that before I ordered this guy, it still hasn't arrived. It was, should have been here with him, according to my tracking, but it didn't arrive, so that's a, a little odd. Here he is next to the Super Saiyan God Goku, which you can see, you know, towers above him. And it's actually a pretty good skill between uh, those two figures. I mean, I, if I were to imagine Goku and Mickey together, I would definitely say that that's about the height difference that I would be thinking. So, you know, there is that. And then let's just put spider-man back here you can see the size difference uh anything else i got here's a short character in case you guys want to see mario so he's even shorter than mario by a very good amount so yeah that that's pretty much all i've got to say about this you know if i somehow end up getting the uh the other figure art the Sora before I'm done editing this I'll throw in a little clip here so you can guys can see the size difference though don't count on it I really doubt it'll be there so I will have a review on Sora up hopefully tomorrow uh we'll see how it goes but yeah anyways that's my review for this so if you guys enjoyed it if you did subscribe like button you know all that cool stuff and I will see you guys later thank you for watching goodbye